Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, just wanted to say that I will be talking about it. Actually, I will be showing you guys what it looks like. So there's a controversy going on uh, on several levels with a specific distribution of Linux. There's a Linux distro that's called Ubuntu. And so some of you that know distros from different Linux um, platforms will recognize Ubuntu. It's a well-known distro. It's one of the most popular. And, uh, well, Ubuntu takes a step where it wants to imitate what um, Windows looks like. So the system imitates Windows 11. And that's the first controversy. Microsoft is actually suing uh, those behind Ubuntu because basically it's copying the Windows 11 operating system and pretending that it is exactly Windows 11 and that you do everything you do in Windows 11, which is not the case because it's a Linux distro, which means things are very different. Uh, and no, you're not going to run you know, Microsoft Office in here. Uh, this is where it gets a little, um, you know, kind of playing with the words and trying to lure people into thinking this is the case. But what makes this even worse is on the upper right, you have professional key. If you click here, you'll notice that you can purchase for $140 for licenses or $35 for a license. So not only is it trying to imitate Windows, it steals Windows images and icons, but it also transgresses another rule. And the rule is that Linux distributions cannot be sold. You cannot make a profit off a Linux distro technically. So when you go to a website, a Linux distro is allowed to ask you for a donation to pursue the, you know, um, experiment of the distribution of that type of uh, operating system, but it cannot explicitly say, I'll oh, buy a license to get this, which is um, transgressing pretty much uh, the rules of what is open source software, meaning that now it's an open source software that you actually took from the community and you are going to ask for a license for a pro version of it. Kind of, you know, doesn't go together. So this is a very unique thing. Um, I am downloading it now. We'll be booting it from a, a PC and uh, we'll be making a video from Ubuntu. We'll see up to where this imitates Windows and how it works. So this is going to be interesting. I had a lot of you requesting me to talk about this, uh, what it is, and uh, to elaborate a little more. So not only will we talk about it like we did in this video, we're actually going to play with it. And uh, that's going to be in a separate video coming up probably within the next 48 hours. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, I mean, this, this thing is really, really uh, imitates Windows in many ways. And of course, it tells you that it does not require TPM, secure boot, and any other hardware requirements. Uh, and it tells you that, um, so there's a free edition, of course, uh, and it tells you that the free edition doesn't require much of, you know, PC, two gigahertz dual core processor or better, two gigabytes system RAM, uh, 25 gigabytes of free hard drive space if you install, of course. And, uh, and all of that. So VirtualBox, it says it's extremely important to install guest add-ons for the systems to run efficiently. So anyways, we'll see what's, uh, what's that. So there's one called Ubuntu Plasma, which imitates Windows 11. And I might actually take also this one, Ubuntu Cinnamon, that is a Windows 10 imitation, if you want. So uh, quite interesting to see uh, what's going to happen. So uh, videos will be coming up. I'll probably be making a video on both Windows 11 and Windows 10 versions to see what they look like. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.